Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Good evening. How was your day, people? With work. Okay. How many hours do you work a day, Walter? Seven hours. Okay. What time do you start? And 10 o'clock a.m. Oh, okay. Well, 10 a.m. is a good time. So yes, I, I, and I finish my job uh, 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, good. 10 to 5, that's, that's pretty good. Yes. All right. Okay, so what's today's date, people? Today's date is? Nine. The ninth. That is correct. June the 9th, 2020. Do you guys remember what we spoke about yesterday? We talked about past, past tense. Uh -huh. and, and past continuous. Yes, simple past tense and past continuous. Uh, what is the function of the simple past tense? Talk about an action that was made in the past. Good. We're talking about finished activities. Good. And the yeah. past continuous, what's the function of the past continuous? Mm -hmm. Something that started in the past and finished the past, but was continuous, like I in was progress. working. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Yeah, your answer is good. When we talk about the past continuous, we're talking about an action in progress, um, usually in a particular time in the future, in the past. So what were you doing today at 10 in the morning? What were you doing yesterday at 11 p.m.? Um, when you give an answer, uh, the answer usually comes with the past continuous. Very good. Uh, what else did we mention? What else did we talk about? What did we say about pronunciation? Who remembers? Oh, ED. Uh huh. When you use like sound of T or ED or other. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, um, that's what we said. Let me see if I can find uh, something here. Voice and voiceless sounds. Yes, exactly. Voiced and voiceless. Right. Okay. Uh, can you see the paper? Can you see the Word document? Yes. yes. Okay. So remember that when when a, when a verb is regular, it's because it finishes with ed in past tense. But that ed has three different sounds. So the first one is if if this is the termination here, plus A, E, I, O, U, E, D will sound like a D. So what is the past tense of clean? Cleaned. Cleaned. Rob? Road. Road. Repaired? Repaired. 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 Hug? Hug. 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 And play? Played. 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 Very good. So as you as um as you guys were saying, ED sounds like a D. So you pretend that letter E doesn't exist, and you say cleaned, robbed, repaired, hugged, and played. Uh, the second option is different. ED will sound like a T if the termination is any of this. So what is the past tense of stop? Stop. 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 This one here? Kiss. Kiss. Next one? Wash. 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 Cast. 
Oh, oh. Very good. Oh. And the last one is pronounced? Pick. Very good. Pick. Uh, you're going to pronounce ED exactly the same way you write it, only when the termination of the verb is T or a D. So examples, what is the past tense of want? Wanted. 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 Needed. Needed. And completed. Now, remember this. Here we have ID. But ID is only the phonetic symbol. But the real pronunciation is L. Exactly the same way we would pronounce in Spanish. So you will say wanted, needed, and completed. Completed. Yes. Okay, any questions about this? No questions. No, no questions, all right. No. So, um, any questions about yesterday or any comments about yesterday? No? No question. No, Dick, no, no, no. Okay, so um, we were talking about simple past and we were talking about past continuous. When you say something in past and the information is positive, uh, what is the form of the verb? Present. When you say something positive in past, uh, what is the form of the verb? It's in the past tense. It's in past tense, exactly. So you say, I took the bus, I finished my homework, I sent you the information, because the sentences are positive, the form of the verb is in past. Now, how do you make a question in the simple past when you're talking about actions? Just let it be the subject and the very present, simple Good. present. Good, so when you're making a question, you use auxiliary did, you use the subject, and the form of the verb is in base form. It's in uh, uh, the normal form. Good. And what happens when the information is negative? You what do you do? Didn't. Did not. You use auxiliary didn't. didn't. And what happens to didn't. the verb, didn't. the main yes. verb? In the base form. Base form. Exactly. All right. So let me show you um, this yeah. worksheet. Do you guys see it? Yes. 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 All right. So the worksheet gives you the information in positive, and it gives you the first example. So number one says he went to school yesterday. That is positive. So your exercise is to transform that positive information into negative. And that's why I was asking you first, how do you make questions? How do you make negatives? And what is the form of the verb when the information is positive? So, um, so just to make sure, number two says, they ate lunch at the cafeteria. What would be the negative form there? They didn't eat. Very good, very good. All right, so let me assign you uh, to work in pairs. I will make the groups right now. Remember, when you finish with the exercise, keep talking about other things. There are a thousand things to talk about. So here we go. Okay. Himmler, can you hear me?
Carlos, can you hear? Hello. Me? How are you? Hi, teacher. Good, good. How was your day? Hello, teacher. How was your day? My day was very, very difficult in my work. Okay, where do you work, Carlos? I am working in uh, Cahut Laporte. Oh yeah, yeah. You 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 mentioned that. Okay, and where do you live? I I am living in Sonsonate City. Oh okay, so that's. Are you from Sonsonate? Yeah. Okay. But but uh, I. I I born in uh, I was born. I oh. was I, I was born in Swatang. This is Swatang. Okay. All right. But it's it's a, it's about the uh, Sonsonate. Okay. All right. So let me assign you to to work with um with a group so okay. you will be working in group number one okay all right so right I'll, now. See, I'll see you in a few minutes On the, on the, on the WhatsApp. Yes, Carlos, yeah, you, what time? Do you, ha I do, you have, do you have the image, Carlos? Walter, at what time the send the, the... Just now. The document. Uh, yes, 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 now. <laughs> ah, okay. I hadn't I realized. You know, yes. I, I, I got up to, to get more water, and when I came back, I saw the message. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. Don't right. worry. Okay. Thank you. Carlos, okay. I say the image. And change the, the, the number and the result. Yes, and one number is very important. Yes, very important. And the classification about the operations. For example, in uh, operative, financial, in, in. It didn't rain yeah. last week. Yeah. Yes. Okay, number six. I felt sick. Number so I saw a doctor. Number six. I felt sick, so I saw a doctor. I didn't feel sick, so I didn't see a doctor. Good. I, okay. In that way, it won't uh, have sense. Is there the you need to use to negative symptoms? I didn't feel sick, so I didn't see a doctor. Number seven. At the Number seven. Didn't have. A good time at the party. You have Toma. They did it. They did it. They did it. 
eight. No, remember that you, if you use, if we use did or didn't, we need to follow with the place with present tense of the verb. Okay. This time exactly. we have to use it. They didn't eat lunch at the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. Number three. Are you? My sister. Okay, okay, okay. My, my sister, sister played sister. basketball Play. with her friends. Okay. Subject, my sister. Go on. My sister. Susan, Susan late the movie. Okay. Um, Susan didn't like the movie. Didn't like. like. Sus Susan didn't like the movie. Okay. Yeah, didn't like. Thanks. Yes. Okay, the next one is the night. I saw what the shopping made on Saturday. I didn't see. I didn't see you at the shopping. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's good. Okay. We already finished, teacher. All right. Good. Teacher, we finished. All I'm right. talking about the, the the cash flow with Julio Albanes. <laughs> okay. Good, good. <laughs> when, when, uh, are you currently working? I mean, physically going to the office? No, me. Only home office. Okay. All right. No, me neither. Okay, good. Because I don't know when when I will be returning because I work at the U I I work. Ah, you will come back almost <laughs> maybe final. September. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I so don't know. Okay, and where where what company do you work for, Veronica? It's a uh, duty free Lurix. Okay. Lurix. Mm -hmm. Right. And how much time have you been in that company? Uh, two years and five months. Okay. Yeah, and in, in the airport is very hot. I mean, like in terms of temperature, it's so really hot. Horrible, terrible, really hot. Yeah. Only yeah. with the air condition, bad exactly. one. When you uh, go went out, it's terrible. Yes. Terrible. Yes. You I feel I like a flame yeah. <laughs> coming to you. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if I told you that I was teaching at Ironman for for. A oh few really? Years. Yeah, and uh, mm. my goodness, when I arrived there, I said, "Man, this is really hot." And the same really? thing when I finished the class. Man, it's really hot. So it was always hot. Yeah. Yes. And it's raining. It's terrible too because the, the, how do you say the, the climate, the, the, the weather? weather? The weather? Never change. Right. right. <laughs> it's always hot. Yeah. Because that's, that's what makes us, uh, you know, like that's why we have a uh, tropical weather. You know, it's always hot. Yes, yeah. because it's near near to the to the beach. Exactly, is the reason. Because very it's near, really hot. very very near. Mass. Yeah, yeah. Right. the this is uh, behind the airport. Okay, the, uh, it, I forgot the name of the of the or this part of of the beach is. Um, Tunganera, maybe. Tunganera, oh. the, the, las hojas, too. Okay. Good. And where do you live, Veronica? In Santa Tecla. Oh. Okay. I ah, travel all the days. You live in Santa, Santa Tecla? Tecla too? No, I live um, like Escalón. Ah, okay. All and right. you, teacher? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Oh, that's the weather is there is very hot. Yeah, it, it's hot here. You know, my house, it's it's you know, it has two floors. The first yeah. floor is fresh, but the second floor, oh my so goodness. <laughs> it's it's yeah. amazing. 
amazing. So, so now that we are in this emergency thing, everybody's on the first floor all day, every day. You know, we go upstairs only to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like 45 grade. Yeah. It's and really hot. All, all the day, no, here in Santa Tecla, and for the, it was raining with the, the Amanda rain. Uh -huh. oh, terrible. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it, always it, with with sweater, with pants, with yeah, socks. Yeah. Oh, terrible! <laughs> yeah, Lourdes was was it wasn't cold, but it was very fresh. I can imagine Santa Tecla that it's usually colder. You know? Yes, Santa yeah. Tecla is a nice nice weather. Yeah, nice. Most weather. of the time. Yeah. Okay, let's return to the main session. Okay. okay. All right. Um, any questions about the exercises? No. No. Here. All right. Good. So let's do um, a knowledge check. So we're making a combination of of, of past continuous with the simple past. Okay. Um, I need a volunteer to try and do the first one. The first one. Yes, please. Already. Okay. Somebody, anybody? The second, the second. No, the first one. Ah, the first one. Uh, yes, please. In the, in the past is he went to a school yesterday. And the, in, the, in the past negative, he, he didn't go to a school yesterday. Oh, okay. Hold on. So, which um, are you seeing the same page that I have uh, in my screen? It's um. Hold on. My bad. Hold on. My fault. Second. Yes. Okay. Can Can you see that one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh -huh, yes. All okay. right. Can, can you please try and do it? Ah, uh, this another one. Yes. So my brother. My brother was uh, snowboarding uh, uh -huh. when broke. he broke his leg yeah. in several places. Very good. Oh my so my That's brother so was painful. snowboarding when he broke his leg in several pieces. That's yeah, it surely sounds painful. 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 Uh, very painful, several places, yeah, not pieces, places, okay, good. Uh, does everybody agree with Eduardo's answer? Yes. Yeah. All right, I need another yes. volunteer for the second one. The second one, me. Yes, please. O sea, seven years ago, I had problem with math, so I, I found, I found a tutor to help. Okay, so uh, the second part is good. How would you improve the first one? Several uh, years ago, I was having problem with math. Exactly. So I, I uh, yes, found I a tutor. Okay. Exactly. Wow. So remember, when you, in a real life situation, uh, when we're talking about something that already finished, or you want to talk about a narration of, of, of things, um, All right. you use the past continuous, and then the simple past comes and interrupts. So several years ago, I was having problems with math, so I found a tutor to help me. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, good, very good. I need another volunteer for number three. Me. Okay, you. The couple was having their first child. The couple was having the first child child when they were living in the TD apartment. Okay. The couple had. The couple had. Uh -huh. the couple the had, couple had they, they their had first had child them. when their they were child. living in a time. In a time. time. In the entire apartment. 
Yes. Go ahead there first. Andrew. Yes. All right. Does Friday everybody is like smoke. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Friday is like a smoke. Sure. Yes. It's a negative uh, thing. Okay. Does everybody agree with number three? Yes. All right. <laughs> Another volunteer to do number four. Me. To me. Okay. Good. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. <laughs> okay, thanks, Veronica. While I was driving uh -huh. in uh, Ireland a few uh -huh. years ago, Ireland. I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Good. Real, realized. So, while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, what is the past tense of realize? I realized it. Realized. Okay, realized. how do you pronounce realize in the past form? Realized. 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 Okay, realized. Realized. Okay. Okay, realize. Remember that letter letter Z realized. is voice. It has vibration. So when the when the ending uh sound has vibration, ED sounds like D. So yeah. while I was driving in yeah. Ireland a few years ago, I realized, realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Right. Right. Does everybody agree on number four? Yes. All right. Another volunteer for number five. May I? Sure, please. Okay, number five. Ulrich was reading a good book, but so Someone told her the ending. All right, oh good. God. What a bad person. <laughs> yeah. So Ulrich was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. Good, very good. Someone else, number six, please. Anybody? Me. All right, good. While, while my mother was cooking dinner last night, the phone ran three uh -huh. times good the phone rang three times your answer is good while my mother was cooking dinner last night the phone rang three times and the last one last volunteer yeah. only one tracy and eric uh was meeting when jake um when they worked at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Okay, something different? Tracy and Eric Mitt. Tracy. Tracy, yes. Tracy and Eric Mitt. Yeah, Tracy and Eric were cooking. Were cooking. Yes, so Tracy and Eric met when they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Were cooking. <laughs> <laughs> that huh? that's a, a mistake uh -huh, because they say mistake. we're cooking and yeah. we're working. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. That is a mistake in these sentences. Yeah. Tracy and Eric met when they were working. Yeah. So I mean, we're cooking matches, but it should mm -hmm. make sense with the word in parentheses. So yeah, yes. it's, it's true. <laughs> All right. Because it's a restaurant. Right, right. It's a restaurant. Net. So in a restaurant, Net. you you cook. Yes. So the past tense of meet Net. is met. Met. Net. So Net. Tracy and Net. Eric met when they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Yep. All right. Any questions or comments? No question. No teacher. All right. So it's it's good. good. Only right. a little mistake. Right, right. Okay, so now, since we're talking about past tense and past continuous and all that, when you are narrating incidents or when you are a witness of a car accident and they ask for your version, um, you use adverbs to emphasize that something 
uh, you want to put those special effects. You know, you, it's not that you want to exaggerate, <laughs> but you know, you use vocabulary to make it a little bit more interesting. I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. Teacher. Yes. Show an email. What is it? Your email, teacher. You are screaming an email. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but really? no problem. It's not not nothing. <laughs> nothing bad. Nothing bad. <laughs> nothing bad. He <laughs> sent. Uh -huh. Mr. Francisco, bring home milk. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't bring it, don't even think about knocking the door. <laughs> okay, let me see if you guys can see it now. Okay, can you see it now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, storytelling. All right, what's in the picture? A uh, girl running. Uh huh. A boy riding a bike. Okay. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Right. What else? And the yeah. order, I don't understand the English. <laughs> All right. Maybe running uh, from the rain. From the rain. Uh -huh. Could be. Could be. All right. So, a kid cycling, it's chasing, about the chasing rain. a girl. Okay, yeah. It, it seems nah. like the, the, the guy in the uh, bicycle is chasing the woman. He's chasing the girl. Chasing the woman. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it. She looks a little bit scared. What about the dog? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was trying to, to uh, identify what that image is. Is that a dog? I think so. I think it's a dog. Uh, very oh, awful. <laughs> Like it's a pit bull. Yeah. Well, it's a strange creature. I think the girl is caring about the dogs. Yeah, not the guy with the bicycle. Exactly. It's the dog of the movie, Men in Black. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I need a volunteer to read the, the, the instructions, please. Story yeah, time. Word power. Word power storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, some adverbs are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive? B. Which are negative? Which are neutral? neutral. Okay, good. All right. So we have positive, negative, and neutral. Neutral. Right. Neutral. So, um, so we have the first one, coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, and unfortunately. Okay. So once again, let me see if I take a picture of this and send it to you guys. Okay, so you can take a screenshot from, from the computer right now or I'll, I already send it to the WhatsApp chat too. So once again, I want you to discuss which one is positive, which one is negative, and which one is neutral, um, and try to make a sentence with each one too. All right, so here we go.
Hi. Hello. Hello. Who's your partner, Josue? Oh, you're okay. Hold on. Let me assign you to this one here and this one here. What do you think about coincidentally? Coincidentally, maybe it's neutral. Yes, I think it's neutral. Okay. Fortunately. But, but okay. I, sir. Yes, sir. sir uh, uh, the, uh, the, the document is, is not sending. Mm -hmm. It's not what? I, 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 I maybe maybe he can receive the the whatsapp the whatsapp this the whatsapp group is okay okay but but in in, in this time uh, we are going to try to 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 work with your phone uh, after Carlos, after, are, after you, are, you, are you teacher okay fine because uh, are you using your computer or your cell phone you, carlos yeah, but uh, I, I don't have the video, it doesn't matter. Okay, fine, so, so. Start, start okay. with the exercise. Uh, hold on, uh, I, I have in my, my, my notes, kill me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> continues, Josue. Okay, so what what do you think is the first one? Coincidentally, is it, is it positive, negative, or neutral? For me, it's neutral. Yes. Neutral. All right. Fortunately, it's positive. Fortunately, it's a positive. Okay, good. Very good. So you guys discuss it. Um, sometimes positive <laughs> and sometimes negative. Which one? Which suddenly. one? Uh, suddenly? I think that it's suddenly. neutral. Yeah, it can be positive and it can be negative. Yeah. Yes, it's neutral. And yep. Annex. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Mm, what does negative. unexpectedly mean? Uh, that you were not ready for whatever happened. Oh. It's negative. Mm -hmm. Negative. So it's negative. For example, Maria and Carlos meet coincidentally in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick in the park coincidentally. Uh, I don't know the word order in this case. Both are good. Uh, we we have a a question yes, about the, the adverbs. Uh, well, I don't know how how do you pronounce this word? My god, my miraculous, my rank, my oh miraculously. My rank yeah, miraculously. There is a positive advert. Uh, yeah, because it's related with miracles, you know, and miracles are usually positive. good things, you know, they're <laughs> always good things. Okay. Yeah, so it's and, positive. And also, surprisingly, uh -huh. a positive advert. Um, I would say that it's neutral, surprisingly. Like, oh my God, you know, I was waiting for the bus and surprisingly, uh, a man took a, a woman's purse. Like you, you were like, oh my God, what happened here? You know? But you can also uh, use it in a positive way. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Mm, no questions. No, okay. 
It's not a good thing to be sad. Okay, strangely, strange, strangely, strangely. Strange. Strangely so, it is possible. Strangely, um, uh, strange is like, like weird. Uh -huh. For some people, it is. It might be good, it'd be great, but there are there are. Luckily, luckily, luck. Luckily, positive. Luckily, positive. Mm -hmm. This miraculously. <laughs> it's a difficult. Yeah. Pronunciation. Miraculously, miraculously. Yeah, miraculously. What is the exact teacher? teacher what, is what is the exact pronunciation? The, the miraculously. miraculously. Yeah, miraculously. 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 Yeah. Miraculously. Miraculously. Yeah, miraculously. Yes. Yes. Neutral. It's neutral. Something. Felt, uh huh. Yes, uh -huh. felt. Okay. Sur Surprisingly. 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 I think it's neutral. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's neutral. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. It couldn't be positive. Which one? No, neutral, yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, it can be both. It can be positive, it can be negative, so it's neutral. Okay. Yes. Exactly is um, in Spanish, extrañamente. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so strangely, how do you classify it? Positive, negative, or neutral? Uh, I think that negative, negative because you can yes. say strangely. I saw a how do you say fantasm? <laughs> Ghost. No. Okay. Last well, night. <laughs> and the movie was strangely? It yeah. what it will be. No, like you will say the movie was strange. Okay. Strange. Yes. So um, but imagine that last year you gave twenty dollars to a friend and your friend promised to pay you three days later, what he never did or she never did. But strangely, one day she comes to your house or he comes to your house and he returns the money. So is that good or bad? Okay. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> with all with other. You guys finished? Yeah, you good to go. What is it? He luckily, he luckily did not go to up there. All right, so let's return. And, uh, um, yeah. Is that correct? Which one? He uh, luckily did not go to job today. He luckily did not go to his job today because job is a noun do you have a job yes i do no i don't so luckily he did not go to his job today so you need to say um, he did not go to his job today now if you want to change it you can use work instead of job and then you say luckily he did not work today. Because work can be a noun or a verb. Job is only a noun. That's why. Any other questions, Manuel? Yeah. Um, 
uh, some doubts about uh, where is the where is the right position of the adverb? Okay, after um, the bear or before the bear? They, they can or... be after, before, or at the beginning of the sentence. So you can say, luckily, yesterday was my day off. Or I can say, yesterday was my day off, luckily. So it can be at the beginning or it can be at the end. When you're talking about adverbs. We didn't uh, listen nothing because the, the connection was failing. Okay, I said, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it can be before or it can be after the verb. So you say, okay. sadly, my dog died. Or you can say, my dog died, sadly. So it can be wow, at the okay. beginning or it can be at the end. Yes. Okay. Any other comments or questions? No questions. All right, good. Let's return. All right. Did you have the chance to classify each other? We classify. Okay, were you able to classify each one of them? Yes, we made it. Okay, so coincidentally, how do you classify coincidentally? Coincidentally, neutral. 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 Fortunately. Positive. 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 Luckily. Fortunately. Positive. Lucky positive. positive. Okay. Miraculously. Positive. 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 Sadly. Negative. 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 Strangely. Neutral. 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 Suddenly. Neutral. 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 Surprisingly. Neutral. 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 Unexpectedly. Neutral. Neutral. And unfortunately. Neutral. Negative. 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 Yes. Negative. Negative. All right. Good. Any questions there? No. 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 All right. So let's see. Um, how many tenses did we mention there are? Twelve. Twelve. English has 12 grammatical tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. Today, we're, we don't have enough time to finish uh, everything, but I don't know if you have seen this in the platform yet. No, I haven't. Okay. Do you see the picture in the in the screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. What do you see there? Zoom. Oh, no. What is it? I can see. I can see anything. I can see nothing. <laughs> okay, hold on. Me neither. Once again, my bad. Uh, you are getting used to. Yeah, let me see it. All right. Do you see it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Conversation. So, uh huh. What's What's the name of the topic? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? doing? Which tense is that sentence? That question actually. What have you been doing? That's perfect. It's present perfect. Present okay. Perfect. Someone else? Okay. Uh, oh, perfect continuous. Present continuous. Yes, present perfect continuous. Perfect continuous. Right. 
Now, we said that the present perfect um, is something that you did in the past, and maybe you are doing it when you're speaking. Maybe you're not, but that is present perfect. When you use this one here, present perfect continuous, um, you're talking about something that you start doing in the past, and you are doing it when you're speaking. What have you been doing? How do you say that in Spanish? What have you been doing? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? So when you ask that question, English or Spanish, you're talking about something that this person began doing in the past and he or she continues doing it. Any questions um, about the picture? Where where is this conversation? It's into the party, a party. Okay, yeah. Party. So when do you make this question? What have you been doing? When you don't see the person for a long time, maybe. Exactly. Yes. Hey, what have you been doing? All right. So we have Pete and we have Gina. Uh, may I have two volunteers to do the reading? Me. Okay. You're Gina, and where is Pete? Me. Okay. All right. Manuel Pete. <laughs> All right. Manuel, Manuel Pete. Pete. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Go. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing excited. I've been working to job for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's a time. Yeah, it is. What about what about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full time modeling career. Wow. Really? How long have you modeling since I graduated but I haven't been getting any work I need a job soon I'm almost out of money all right good thank you any okay. questions coach coach I have yes. to say that the Georgina's voice here's uh, like the girls that hang video lessons on YouTube oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Any questions uh, uh, about vocabulary or pronunciation? When do you make the question, how come? How come? How come? So if I tell you guys, look, tomorrow we don't have classes, you guys will say, how come? It's only Wednesday. What is a synonym how of how come? A synonym. I don't know. <laughs> why? How, yeah, how come means why. <clears throat> why? Ah, okay. Yeah, how come? How come? How come? Exactly. How come is why. Yeah. So you say, you know what? I, I couldn't go to the meeting. How come? They ask you why. Mm -hmm. Any any comments, any questions about the conversation? Yeah. How mm -hmm. come is <clears throat> is it in common conversations? Sure, sure. It, it's not only in books, but people use it in a real life situation. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. Anybody else has any other comments or questions? No. What is the pronunciation of foreseen? Uh, where are you? It's like, it's like looking or finding. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, pursuing. Pursuing. Yeah, pursuing. Pursuing. Yes, pursuing. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. It's like perform, performing. Not really. Does anybody have a definition for the word pursuing? Purse uh, is like a bolso. Okay. And pursuing? So. Is when you are it looking. It's like a model. Okay. So he says, I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. In other words, I'm looking for a full-time modeling career. Mm. Look for, I'm pursuing. Yes. So is that word clear? So, so. Okay. So. Do you remember that the movie from uh, Will Smith when he sleeps in a train station with his son? With his, his with his son. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, the name of the name of that movie in English is in Pursuit of Happiness. Mm -hmm. And it's the same word but with a different uh, uh, part of grammar. Pursuing. Person. Looking for. Looking, looking, looking for. for. Yes, looking for. Or you are after something. Any other questions or comments? Um, uh, no? no? Okay, so we will continue with this topic tomorrow. I do recommend that you guys do some reading about a uh, Present perfect continuous. So when we talk about it tomorrow in class, you guys feel uh, uh, really good about the, the topic we'll be discussing. So thank you very much for your time. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Thank you. Thank you. you guys have a good night. night. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Sleep well. Bye. Good night. Somebody. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Good night.